said there were times earlier during the offseason she didn't feel like working out, but she's giving work to the Sparks right now. Led up to Jefferson. Looking to push tempo. Tarasi on a rush. Took the contact and converted. Here's Tarasi. Drives into the paint. Oh, sauce from Diana. To get the call, Tim Green is getting an earful. Woo! <laughs> Diana Tarasi. Created a dynasty there. Ron Stanley's not doing too shabby in South Carolina either. He is certainly <laughs> taking that torch on his Diana Tarasi. It's four from the perimeter as well. He is capable of going both right and left. So is she. Can you just stop on a dime and still square up and finish on balance? Tarasi on the drive. Through contact and in one. Mercury are just 1 and 11 on the road this year. Oh, what a pass! The go down to Megan Gustafson. Tarasi puts it on the floor, finds Turner down low, her first basket of the season. Way to go, Breezy. Is energy and effort, and the basketball finds players that play with the most energy. Diana Tarasi once again. She gets her own rebound. Tarasi attacking. She's not going to miss from there. Tell you what, when you're off the bounce into a three-point shot, that's not an easy look. Oh, what a lefty little Ooh. finger roll reverse, or whatever you want to call it. And here come the Mercury with a chance to take the lead for the first time since the first quarter. Inside to Turner, up and in. It has had a knack for finding players who are maybe beyond their typical rookie season as Griner, great connection there with Tarasi. Shug Sutton to Tarasi, into Griner. Nice finish. And Phoenix looking to cut into this lead once again. They had it down to six. It is back up to nine. Tarasi, a little shimmy shake, and she hits the three from the wing. It takes concentration, and you're just in the flow of the game sometimes. Diana and Tarasi have way too many personal 12-0 runs in about a minute. And there's a three right there. Jordan Canada with just her second made three-pointer on the season, and it was nothing but net. Tarasi with the answer. You betcha. Get a little get back for that season opening loss. Jefferson to Tarasi. For three! That's the way you beat a buzzer, Tarasi. She's got 14. Remember, she had a career-best 45 in New York's first game here at Barclays Center this season against the Fever. Nice inside look, no look. Side, she's got six games where she's shot over 70% from the floor. Tarasi, triple is two! Credit the Axe Factor for coming out on Pride Night. Better than 9,000 fans loving the fact that Turner is... 4 of 14 from the floor. Jefferson with an Igwe fronting Griner. Jefferson kicks it, Tarasi hits it from three. Team national champion and, and just someone that we're super proud is associated with our school. The moon. Yep. When you see her and Copper in the flow of the offense like they've been today, Tarasi, that's a wow, long, tough three. When Sophie was growing up, she probably thought Diana played better defense, to be honest. <laughs> and ends up with Sutton and she is on the run. Tarasi for three. You betcha. That's the way it was on Wednesday night. Turnover, Satu could popped it up. Here comes Sutton. Tarasi on the left side to the hole. The floater that's pretty off the glass. Nice. This Phoenix team coming off a loss to Atlanta earlier this week. Diana Tarasi picking up where she left off. Again, hasn't played since July 18th. Talking to her before the game, and she said, I'm enjoying myself. Here is Diana Tarasi rattling it home. Caldwell almost picked Diana's pocket. Three on the way is good. Led by as many as ten. Dallas' biggest lead was four. Karasi uncontested down the tunnel. Jefferson ahead to Tarasi. She takes it all the way to the ten. Fourth turnover for New York this quarter. And they only had the one in the first quarter as DT. Now with 18, Tarasi leading through, lays it up good. 
Tarasi against Cook. Baseline. That's nice. There. She was wide open for that three. Yeah, could have taken that one. Tried to make the extra pass. Here's Tarasi out behind the arc and gets it. You're going to see a concentrated effort by Phoenix to find ways to use VG. That time, Diana Taurasi off the ball. Michaela Onion Orewe and Shug Sutton. Oh, that's wet. Jordan Canada almost picked the pocket. Taurasi for three. Splash! All the media, all of our team members here, the oh, players okay. around Sorry. the league. My goodness. <laughs> You're right, Annie. What do you expect the Mercury to do out of this timeout, Annie? Well, hopefully not turn the ball over and, and run a, a clean offense. Tarasi, of course! She's got six. Joining daughter Amaya. Tarasi, baseline jumper. That's wet. Some zipper two-man action between DT and BG. Makes it really tough to pull a double. Cunningham was running the floor. Jefferson thought about it. Now kicks it over to Tarasi. Works it back around to DT for three. Lloyd's still down back there. She does get up. Diana Tarasi lays it up and in. Being to say, I love it. I love it. Diana Tarasi in the corner, buries a three. You know, we talked about Sophie Cunningham being out in this game, and Diana Tarasi... Oh, Diana! Hello! You do as much scouting as you can, and what a strength is for the player like Kelsey Mitchell, going left. What a pass! Turner! Cunningham with the rebound and setting up the offense. Long three on the way for Tarasi is good. She's into double figures with a dozen.